Fight news today in uh, Utrecht at uh, Warriors Ethos Gym with light heavyweight kickboxer Nabil Berber Balikana, 23 years old from Holland, representing uh, Morocco. Nabil, how did you come up with your nickname uh, Berber? Uh, Berber is uh, originated from my roots. I am uh, from uh, North Africa, Morocco. Uh, we have uh, two types of uh, Moroccans. You have Arab Moroccans and you have the Imazirin, Berber Moroccans. And that's where I'm from. Okay, clear. We're at uh, SB Gym with Said, and we have also seen you at uh, Central Gym Utrecht. It's actually next door. Next door, yeah. <laughs> And now you train with uh, Warriors Ethos, uh, with your trainer? With my trainers, uh, Darren and uh, Roberto. Do you also train with Said and Samantha? Or, uh... Uh, I used to train with them. Uh, I used to train at Central Gym for a while. Uh, I've also trained at SB Gym for a while. But uh, now this is my, uh, my home. It's uh, actually a simple story. Uh, I'll just play it short. Um, I trained a long time for Central Gym, uh, I fought for Central Gym, uh, but we parted our ways. Uh, I started training with my new coaches, uh, Darren Simon and uh, Roberto Sinisic uh, for a long, a long time right now, I think we're uh, over a year. Um, Mohamed Amin is a good friend of mine, uh, we uh, train with each other, we help each other. Uh, with our fights, uh, with our tactics, our everything actually. Uh, and that picture that you saw was just one of those trainings. Warrior Ethos is quite new. Um, I think it's not even, uh, not even a year. Uh, my trainer uh, has this place for a very long time, but the fighting team Warrior Ethos is quite new. And also your own uh, fight club, No Dertig? Yeah, we have, uh, I started with my buddy, uh, a gym in Knaal Island, where I'm uh, born and raised. Uh, club No Dertig is for uh, the people from that community. Uh, club No Dertig is easy to find uh, on socials. Just search Club No Dertig, you'll find us very easily. Uh, we're based in Knaal Island uh, for people from Utrecht. Uh, we have uh, fighters also, we go to galas, uh, boxing matches and everything, it's going very well. Okay, now success with uh, that. When and how did you start uh, kickboxing? kickboxing? When? When uh, was a long time ago. I started when I was uh, eight years old uh, in Lotus Gym, Utrecht. It's been a long time ago. Uh, I started because uh, my father uh, thought I needed self-defense. As a man, you need to know how to defend yourself. Uh, that's how it started. So uh, my uncle, he used to drag me to uh, different types of uh, kickboxing schools. I did Taekwondo, but that was not really my style. So uh, my uncle, he uh, did kickboxing. So he dragged me to a kickboxing school once, and that's how it started. Who's your uncle? It's not a famous uh, fighter or something. Ah, okay. And uh, what is your overall record? Uh, my oh, overall, Pro. yeah, my overall record is uh, 16 fights, uh, a lot in the youth. Um, overall record, I think, is 16 uh, fights, uh, 12 uh, win, and uh, four losses. Not bad, not bad. And what is your uh, fighting style? Uh, I like uh, I like fighting. I like to bring a fight. Uh, I'm not scared of punches or getting kicked. It's uh, part of the game. I love the game. Uh, I would call myself a pressure fighter. You don't come to play tennis. Eh? No. I don't do school anymore. Uh, I stopped school when I was 18. Um, I started uh, a cleaning business when I was uh, stopping school, so uh, it, I didn't fit. I had the training, uh, school, uh, the next to school I was working, so it was too much. Uh, I dropped school, uh, started uh, focusing more on my business and uh, my training. Uh, I've said it once before, I'm going for the belt, 
that's what uh, what every uh, kickboxer's dream is. But I'm just trying to uh, improve myself. If I'm, I improve myself, it's uh, a job well done. You have a whole future ahead of you. Yeah. Uh, who is your favorite fighter and why? My favorite fighter, uh, I think it would be Mike Tyson, uh, because he's also a short fighter, fighting a lot of uh, longer opponents, just like myself. Uh, because in the light heavyweight division, you gotta have a lot of tall opponents. The question is coming. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. So uh, I would say Mike Tyson, because that's he is the the goat. Yeah, and the kickboxer. <laughs> Kickboxer, um, I would say uh, it's a difficult question because there are a lot Who of good kickboxers. Who do you look up to when you were younger, when you were watching kickboxing? Of, of course, Badrahari, of course. I was expecting that. Yeah, of course, <laughs> of course. Of course. Yes. I just take the fights as they come, uh, one after the other, and uh, we'll see. Start making pro records, huh? Yeah. Uh, you already fought at some good events already, like Infusion. Mm -hmm. Uh, against Quill Youssef from Hammer's Gym. He's also fighting in uh, London oh. on November 30. Uh, you also fought at uh, Fair FC. Unfortunately, lost on points. How, yeah. how did that fight go? Because I can't find it on YouTube. Yeah, uh, the fight itself was actually quite good. Uh, just some technical difficulties because I had a new uh, mouth guard. Uh, didn't fit properly, so it keep, uh, kept falling out. Uh, got uh, point deducted for that. Oh. Yeah. So uh, I actually uh, gave the gave the victory to the other opponent, but uh, we fixed that problem, so uh, we're ready to go. Talking about uh, Fair FC, you are facing the Fair FC champion Victor de Koning from mm -hmm. Kickboxing Fearless mm -hmm. on your uh, upcoming match, uh, your debut. Uh, Victor is much taller than you. Mm -hmm. He's almost two meters. Eh? Uh, did you come up with an answer for that? I have to jump. <laughs> no, it's a, it's, a, it's a game. It's a chess game. So uh, we have to see um, how he reacts, how I react. And that's just how the part of the game. Difficulties, uh, everything has a solution. Okay. Uh, my question to you is uh, why are you not a uh, middleweight? Why are you light heavyweight? Because you are you are you are so young, mm -hmm. and you have time to build yourself. Yeah. I like eating food. <laughs> you can make the weight. No? Uh, it's um, I actually fought on heavyweight a couple of times. Yeah, so I cut a lot. Uh, I fought uh, once. I fought on 108 kilograms, so I cut it right now to uh, 95. So maybe, who knows, in the future, maybe I'll cut even more. Maybe if I like this weight, I'll keep it uh, at this weight. So we'll see. Yeah, Victor, uh, I don't know if you saw the interview I had with Victor. No. No, okay. Well, he had a message for you. Mm -hmm. It was a nice message. He said, yes. Heb je nog een uh, boodschap voor je Ja, zeker. Ja, ik hoop echt dat je hard getraind hebt, want het gaat echt een hele harde partij worden. En ja, ik onderschat jou zeker niet, dus denk ook niet dat ik je onderschat. Ik hoop echt dat je hard traint en ik train waarschijnlijk tien keer zo hard als jij. Dus ik hoop echt, ik hoop echt dat je best gedaan hebt, want je gaat echt, ja, je gaat het voelen. Je gaat het echt voelen. Is dat? Let him bring his A game. I like it. Uh, I don't also uh, underestimate him. It's gonna be a nice fight. Uh, I would like to uh, give the people of London. Uh, what they come for, a nice fight. Yes. How can we find you on social media? Because I couldn't find you on Facebook. Yeah, I don't have Facebook. Uh, I have Instagram. Uh, it's N Belly Kane. So uh, my the first letter of my first name and then my last name. Uh, that's it, actually. I don't uh, I don't do socials a lot. <laughs> okay, but at least still you can find yeah. you on uh, Instagram. Yeah. The Colosseum tournament in London. Uh, the event is gonna be live on all the socials. Uh, it's gonna be also broadcasted uh, worldwide on a lot of uh, channels. Good for uh, fighting channels. So uh, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a, a hell of a night. Yes. And uh, why should we watch? Why should you watch? Uh, there are gonna be a lot of famous uh, VIPs like Semi Schild, a very good legend. Uh, a lot of celebrities uh, from London also, 
and there are gonna be a lot of good fights, a lot of good fighters, so it's gonna be a hell of a night. Oosh. Oosh.